How did you feel when you heard the killer of 59 music fans in Las Vegas was a white man? Was there a part of you, like me, that was relieved? It's not terrorism, I thought. It's some deranged lunatic. Ah, I hear some of you say, but white men can be terrorists too. Yes, of course they can, but Stephen Paddock wasn't a terrorist. Terrorists kill in the name of some ideological vision. Paddock was a mad monster, a mass murderer, but he wasn't a terrorist. Whether we like it or not, the biggest terrorist threat of the 21st century is radical Islamism, and its followers tend not to be white. In the aftermath of Las Vegas, certain sections of the media have insisted we have to call Paddock a terrorist because apparently it's racist not to. What tosh. I don't know why he went on this murderous rampage, but I do know that every random mass shooting isn't terrorism. And to say that it is dilutes and detracts attention from the very real threat of jihad. Carol, I don't know where to start with what you're saying. Well, off you go, try. Um, so, first of all, I appreciate your honesty that when you realise it was a white person, you, realize, you also conclude it wasn't terrorism. Because I think that is how a lot of people feel. They link terrorism in their minds with a non-white person. That's my first issue, because there are uh, many terrorists who are white. We have neo-Nazi threats. We have Anders Breivik, who killed people in Norway based on a neo-Nazi ideology. We have Dylan Roof, who killed people in Charleston in the US. Tell um, me when this was. Based on a neo-Nazi uh, philosophy. Charleston was 2015, I believe. Yeah. Um, he killed people at a black church. But when a white person commits an offence, we automatically, as you admit you've done in this case, assume it's not terrorism. Now, I think we probably share the same definition of terrorism, right? Motivated by an ideological or political end. Yeah. The idea that brown people have a monopoly over that kind of offence... I said currently. ...is ridiculous. 21st century threat is That's what I said. That's not true, Carol. But it, but it is true. It's it, not true. So, so are you saying that there's an, and, an Andre Breivik every, every day somewhere in the world? Because there isn't. Because the biggest threat we, we currently face... And this is, this, is, this is the problem here. You know, that, this is, people don't want to talk about terrorism in relation to Islamism. They don't want to... People like That's you don't true. want to talk about it. You don't want to link... That is not Muslim. True. Every time we, we talk about this, we have to preface this by saying, well, of course, we're not talking about decent law-abiding Muslims. Of course we're not. We're talking about the ones that are radicalised and go around killing people. We shouldn't have to keep saying that. But what we can't do is not have the conversation the, because we're frightened to offend The people. reason it's difficult to have the conversation is because of views like the one you're expressing, which is racialising terrorism. Now, listen, That's exactly what there are... There are Muslims who That's are terrorists. Exactly the problem. There are white people who are terrorists. On this occasion, I probably agree with you. That there's nothing I've seen that suggests that the there's killer in Vegas the F the F was a terrorist. Well, what I find FBI interesting is that everybody assumed, before anything was known about his motive, that he was not a okay, terrorist. What I'm saying before is mass murder. Anything, what I'm saying he was is being mass described murder, as a deranged individual. Mass murder isn't necessarily terrorism. The Yorkshire Ripper was a mass murderer. He wasn't a terrorist. You're... Charles Manson was a mass murderer. He wasn't a terrorist. But... Dennis Nielsen was a mass murderer. We're not making he... any sense. So well, what, what do you mean I'm not making Because so I'm what, telling Carol? you, that we agree that terrorism has a definition. I'm saying mass being based murders on an ideological or political terrorism. agenda. Before you or anyone else, including Trump for that matter, knew what the motives of this killer were, they were saying he was not a terrorist, he was a deranged individual. They were saying Why? that on day one. They were because, Why? Because, because, Why the assumption? Because, because, before because, you because know. they confiscated all his computers, well, uh, they looked at his phone, uh, they looked at what contacts he had, and they found nothing. Well, well of course, I. I Islamic State did claim it. Well, they always claim, well, they they always claim, claim it. As they claim everything. They claim and, and at that stage, who, none of us were in a position to know. I mean, just didn't know. FBI said very early on. Yeah, after, uh, after that. But Islamic State came out and said, you know, we radicalised this man. Well, as you say, they said that to every, every sort of... But the term. assumption was but that I'm not he sure. wasn't radical. I, I understand the distinction, quiet. the difference you're okay. making. Well, Why? Well, OK, let, do you wanna, this is the legal definition of terrorism. This, this is the, the, the UK one. Terrorism means the use or threat of action where the use of threat is designed to influence the government or an international governmental organisation. In the US, the definition of ter terrorism, a premed premeditated, politically motivated violence perpetrated against non-combatant targets by subnational groups but or clandestine agents. But so what? Well, because, because my point about terrorism so is you have to have... It, 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 you're doing what you do in the name of a cult, of a belief, of a religion. Yes, 
But oh, this but is no ideology. one disagrees with that. But the point is that you are judging so whether someone is a terrorist based on their race, not based on whether I they said, meet your I own said, definition. I said in the intro, and I was very clear about it. I said for a second when I heard about it, I thought, "Thank God, it's not." It's because not, he's white. It's that's not what you said. Followers of ISIS. No, that's not what you said. Yes, you said I did. when I realised he was yes, a white yes. man. Can someone back because, me up okay, here? So tell me you how many. Said, when I realised he was a white man, I realised he was a terrorist. Do you think? But can you just accept my point that you did say when I realised he was white, I realised he was. Not when I realised he didn't have a political or ideological. In, a, in another motive. part of your introduction, you said that some age, some parts of the media are, are having to describe him as a terrorist. Did you say that? No, he's a racist. As, as They're a saying the people who say that that he's not a terrorist are racist. Please. So if I say he's not a terrorist, I'm racist. You see, I haven't seen that argument. Because he's white. I haven't I have. Well, tell me where. So, so the I've missed that. Well, give me, well, give me a clip or something to show me where America, you said it. In, in the columnist, the papers say, are saying that, of course, he was a terrorist. Oh, columnist. And it's well, racist to say he was What do you think, Michelle? I'm um, really surprised by that. See, I don't, I don't regard um, him as a terrorist. Um, I regard him as an absolute just... Well, actually, a that's psychopath. a little bit... Yeah, I was about to say it. He, he is a psychopath, but also, as well, I stopped myself then, actually, because I'm just so confused at what motivated this person. I don't understand why he would go to all the effort that he went to, and he went to so much preparation. This was not just a random guy doing a random act. I've already described some of the prep that he did, and it's immense. And I'm confused as to why would you go to all that effort and prep and not explain your reasons why. Exactly. So that confuses exactly. me. Sorry, just briefly, there's a really fascinating article in the Times this week. His father, as you may or may yeah, not, was, know, was on America's most wanted list. And he, the FBI diagnosed him as being psychopathic. Yeah, he never had... And apparently you can... Ins I didn't know this, but you can inherit being a psychopath. But and then this surely is what they think you, and that means you kill people. You have that's or... why they make such great bosses. They can do what they like, but, and they have no human emotion. This whole conversation is an example of what I'm talking about. So whenever somebody commits a horrific act, right? When it's a white person, we have this conversation where we humanise them. We inquire into no, their just, psychology. Just, just I'm not. No, I don't have any problem okay. with what you've so said. No, just up. let me finish. Are you trying to look at this? We don't do that if they've got brown skin. I'm saying if they're brown, they are radical. They are extremists. No, they're terrorists. That and and you know that has consequences. Because then but other Muslims, for example, are expected to, to be apologize. terrorists. Well, I, need you know, to, what, you know, I need to correct your point because you've just said then, you've just said if it's a white person, we humanize them, we analyze what's this, what's, mo what's the motive, who is this person, and then you've said that if they're brown, we don't. I don't, I don't agree with that okay. at all. If somebody's brown or white, you know, we always look into who is this person, what's gone wrong, what is their background, who knows this about them. So it's not true to say that with you only deeply investigate if it's a, if it's well, a white person. I disagree. Person. I, I think when we think that, that it's terrorism, your argument, we, we immediately start looking at how they were radicalised. We don't look into um, their psychological state of mind, their relationship with their father. But Carol, the point I'm making about what you're saying, I don't, I've, nothing I've seen shows me he meets the definition okay. of a terrorist. But you assumed that before you knew anything about his yeah, motive based uh, on his well, race. I, well, I said it in my intro. I was being honest yeah. about it. I said it. But and I applaud your honesty. Here's, but I think that's here's the some problem. tweets that say, Rihanna, a tweet from Rihanna, say, saying a prayer for all the victims and loved ones, also for the residents and visitors of Las Vegas. This was a horrific act of terror. Lady Gaga tweet, this is terrorism plain and simple. Terror bears no race, no yeah, gender or religion. This is... Uh, we're surely not based this whole discussion on what Lady Gaga says. <laughs> I, I, I was told to read it out. I'm just, no, I'm just reading Well, I'm out telling you, that, that, if that's all they can find, then the whole premise yeah, of what you're my, arguing my is My point mob. is, terrorism has to have a reason. You have to have... I agree. It has to be an ideology. It has to be a religion. Well, I will ask you again how you concluded that he wasn't a terrorist before you knew what his motive was. But can I just try and stick up for you a little bit? And Good. Probably, and probably get myself into a whole amount of trouble when I do. Um, <laughs> but... but to be fair to you, Carol, there is. If you said to anybody, you know, consciously, subconsciously or whatever, in your head, what is the current face, if you like, what, what is the, the current threat, the terrorist it threat isn't. that we face, it's radicalism. a lot of people will say it's a young Muslim guy that's been radicalised and is acting under Islamist um, extremism for whatever gain, political, you know, cultural gain or whatever. That is what a lot of people will think and it's not racist to think that, it's an accurate reflection exactly. of the facts and the statistics of what's going on. That is the narrative that we've created. It's not the narrative. Stop, let me correct you. It's not the narrative. I remember you. having a similar no, conversation. Stop. The That's guys. not. The, it's not a narrative that that it's is the fact. most recent flurry of terrorist attacks have been committed by young Muslim Islamist extremists. I That's not a narrative. That is a fact. And it's happening all no, over no. the world. Do, hang on. Well. Stop. 
Do you accept that? I definitely accept that there is a problem right. with Islamic extremism. The point I'm making is when we have a, um, a white person who is an extremist, whether they're from a neo-Nazi background or whatever they've been radicalised into, we call it something else. And that obscures, therefore, so the true extent to which... Should we not have a discussion about it? Should we not have no, a discussion no, about it? I think it's great terrorism. that we're having okay, a discussion, back, and I hope back, you're taking away from what I'm saying. Go back 20 years, and, I mean, the men who went to jail for the Birmingham pub bombing went to jail because they were Irish. Yes. They had, didn't do it. They were picked up there. It was convenient to, to charge them. They charged them. They fixed there the evidence. When and went to, so, so terrorism isn't all... It's just about what is, who is likely to be blowing yes. you up at yeah, this time.